Welcome to part 50 of Final Fantasy VIII. We are going after the GF today. And after this part, we have two more parts before chapter two is done. Or should I say disc two? Yeah, first disc was only 23 parts. This was about 29. Yeah, it's a little bit longer when you try to do side quests. And here's the thing, I didn't do all of them. I only did the ones that, was, that I felt that needed to be done. That's the killer part. Now then, uh, here's the thing about the GF we're about to get. Remember I mentioned in part 49 how I didn't get Carbuncle and how it will bite me in the ass? Well, the GF in question is a magic-based GF. So yeah, this is gonna bite me in the ass, but I will prevail. It's actually going to be a one-and-done run in this uh, part. It'll be a first try, if you will. But regardless, that would mean we actually have, uh, let's see, I have Pandemona. I mean, Pandemona. Why do I keep calling it Pandemona? I mean, Pandemona. Let's see, Leviathan. Yeah. Ifri, Quetzalcoatl, Shiva, we have uh, the Brothers, and I do believe there is one more GF we actually have. Uh... Alright, Siren, forgot about her. So we only have seven so far. We're about to get our eighth one. And yeah, let's get on with it. We'll just have to go through this door right here. We don't need to go up the stairs, and this is actually memory lane, folks. Remember it over in that area where Zell was doing push-ups for running in the hall? Ah, where's that guy now? Anyway, this is Cerberus! Just walk up to it and examine it. If you, for any reason, bypass it, you're a fool. Then again, who am I to talk? I missed out on our Carbuckle and Diablos. But, Cerberus can be really damn tough without Carbuncle. Again, he actually <clears throat> uh, has lots of magic to cast. And all of the magic that is thrown in our general direction would have been easily reflected if Carbuncle was among our group. But no! Past our V-Man completely killed off the enemies that housed Carbuncle, and then the draw failed to make things even worse. That actually did happen, by the way. Now, we're being hit with Shake, I mean Quake, and also I do believe this thing cast triple on itself. See, here's the thing, if we had Reflect, it would just keep reflecting triple off of himself and onto us. So whatever damage that would be, and we just basically use GFs, until that is, it actually catches on. So what it's going to do is waste, it. so what, so here's the situation, here is the strategy that I would normally use. But I'm not, I'm actually going the physical route and start drawing doubles and quake and triple. The strategy that I wanted to use for, uh... Uh, Cerberus is to cast Reflect on it. It'll bounce triple off of himself and onto you, where all you basically have to do is just attack him. Just not with magic, though. And... He'll just waste his turn, uh, dispelling triple as it keeps coming back to you. But then again, he will wise up and he will use Reflect against you. Which is where Carbuck will come in. If he had Auto Reflect, he would still waste his turn trying to get the Reflect off of you. And then Carbuckle could put it back on. If you're Squall or anybody else, because it only because 
Carbuncle will use Reflect on the whole entire party once he's summoned. And everybody else can just be openly attacking with physical attacks. So that's the whole reason why I said it would bite me in the ass of not having Carbuncle, because technically I'm doing this the hard way. I'm just beating him down with whatever I can. GFs, magic, and also I just lost my triple. God damn it. So what exactly does triple do? It's pretty much like double. It casts two spells. Or two of the same type spells. That's what uh, double does. I mean, double casts two of the same type spells. Triple casts three of the same type spells. Which is why... Cerberus is uh, constantly uh, dispelling triple on my whole party. And so long as Cerberus has triple, that means Cerberus can use uh, attacks like this, like spamming blind more than once, or spamming uh, Dispel more than once, or spamming cure more than once. That's the only reason why you should ever, ever have a uh, dispel. I mean, not dispel. I mean triple, because you want to use triple to cure your whole party, and also triple to try to dispel whatever crap he has. Whatever the case, this is going to be a long. Long fight because yes, I am doing this the hard way and I know it's unnecessary. But at the same time, I am still going to win this battle. I mean, it's only a matter of time before Cerberus strikes back. But also, be careful, because magic isn't the only thing in Cerberus' forte. Cerberus actually can uh, use physical attacks, as you can see here. Which is what Cerberus would more than likely do for a couple of turns, and then come back around and start doing the whole process all over again. Which at that point, if you haven't caught got Cerberus deadlocked with the, your GFs? Uh... You probably would just have to focus on getting Protect up on all of your party members to make him waste a turn with Dispel. The more turns he wastes with Dispel, the uh, less time he has to attack. The less time he has to attack the more times your party have to attack, therefore, effectively winning the battle. But again, I'm doing this the hard way, so I'm fumbling through and I'm just powering through him. And so far it's working! So far it's working. Well, he's still spamming magic, but not at the degree that he normally would. Oh, and by the way, Quistus has uh, Thunder Protect I me, mean, like Elemental Defense for Thunder. So yeah, it's not going to do much to her. That means Quistus can actually heal anyone who is in very low health. And he's more than likely going to spam Thunder and win Magic, if not Quake. I rarely see him spam anything other than Blizzard and Water. I mean, oh, I rarely sp see him spam anything other than Thunder and Quake and Tornado. Because I haven't seen him spam Blizzard yet, nor have I seen him spam um, fire nor water for that matter. Nor arrow. So yeah, this is a lucky run, to be honest. Even though this run all equated from me completely missing out on uh, Carbuncle. In the end, I'm still gonna win this fight. Oh wait, never mind. He did cast arrow. Go figure. It's not gonna do much. 
Oh, it actually did smudge. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Crap! He did it again, and he's just gonna keep targeting Quistus. Okay, stop targeting Quistus. That's good. That's good. That's good. And this should take care of the blindness. Or I think there's another way you can actually beat Cerberus. Put him to sleep. There's no wrong way to beat him. Just be careful because his tail just scored a critical hit on me. And on Squall. Jesus Christ, man. Give Squall a break. And I accidentally healed Selfie, didn't I? Yep, I accidentally healed Selfie. That's something else. I can't believe I did that again. I should have at least learned better from the Fujin and Raijin fight. Uh oh. He's halfway dead. That means he's starting to pull things out of his ass now. And that's the only time you know he's on the verge of death is when he starts saying, Show me what you got. Oh, and he will. Trust me, he will. Even though I totally forgot to heal Squall. Yeah, yeah, Thunder does nothing to Quistus. So take that! Why do you keep aiming for Quistus? Aim for Selfie! She's got more HP! It can survive the hit! Okay, I spoke too soon! But she did survive the hit, though. Alright. Let's cure myself. Oh, no! 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 You bastard! Oh, son of a bitch! Ah, crap. Well, Squall screwed. Because I think you need... I mean... Selfie, sorry, doesn't have any, uh... What did I say you need? I meant Selfie. Selfie doesn't have Isuna. Ah, crap. No, no. Just don't hit Squall. Just don't hit Squall. Just don't hit Squall. Oh, God, he's looking at Squall, isn't he? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Wait, no, he, he missed me. Good, good, he missed me. Just keep hitting Quistus. Everything will be alright. I said keep hitting Quistus! No! No! You son of a bitch! No! Ah, crap. Well, when all else fails, go all out with style. Ah, come on, we need something. We need to heal quickly. Get Squall back in the game! And, well, yeah. There's nothing that Questus can do magically. So we'll just have to wait till Selfie actually heals him. But that's okay, because Squall's got his limit break. Wait, two hits! Bullcrap! Oh wait, I killed him! It killed him! Hooray! I told you I still win, but yeah, that was by luck that I did win. Anyway, 38p, not bad, not bad at all. Looks like a lot of the uh, GFs got some abilities. And now we've got Cerberus. And I need to save Squall before he dies. Jesus Christ, I need to save him. Let's get it. Let's get some magic on this guy first. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go on ahead and call it a part. After all, we've got one last thing we need to do before we continue. And that is to get the key. I mean, and that is to get the final key in order for us to, uh, get to Cypher and get to the Sorceress. After all, 
This chapter can't end unless we beat them both. But for the most part, Quistus now have 60% strength. Hells to the yeah. Now, uh, if only the other GF has extra abilities to spare. It doesn't matter. I could just add a uh, extra spell slot if I just equip Cerberus. Oh wait, Quistus has Cerberus? Oh! Oh, no, 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 that's Squall. No, wait, no, that is Quistus. Son of a bitch! He has magic, he has spirit, and he has speed junction, alert junction, and on top of that, he already comes with ability times three. So no, you should not miss out on Cerberus. You will regret it if you do. And while I have the chance to say this, <clears throat> Cerberus's uh, limit break, or ability, I should say. Cerberus will give your entire team triple. Which, oh, triple and double, actually. Which, you have the choice to either double cast or triple cast. It may not be great, but you know what? All the abilities that Cerberus has makes up for his lackluster, or should I say, semi-good, semi-bad, uh, attack. Hey me, I'm just setting up the GFs. Just so I, if I do run into anyone else that happen to have, uh, some high AP, I could pretty much, uh, beat them up and get some abilities unlocked. But with that said, folks, I'm cutting out from this... Oh, it's just a soldier. Oh, let's kill him. He's nothing. He's just nothing but a grunt. A grunt with a death wish, that is. So, after killing off this soldier and acquiring a GF, despite the fact that it almost turned into a complete and utter clusterfuck, I will see you guys in the next part when I actually take on Cypher. Oh, and by the way, one last thing. I noticed something about this. A uh, Squall, for some reason, has higher experience points than everyone else. It's not because he's the leader either. I've been noticing this since the beginning of the game. That can be very irritating. But until then, I'm calling it a part. This is RPMan 985. See you guys in part 51. We're almost done with the disc, folks. We're almost done with disc two. Just two more discs to go.